All right, Shalom, Shalom, it's the brother Yahweh Shapat coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you, brothers that's on the highways and the byways, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so. Now, so more than ever, to you, I say Shalom. Um, I want to get into today how uh all of israel shall be saved you know and um you know uh because zechariah the 13th chapter in the eighth verse which i'll go ahead and get that does speak about how two-thirds won't make it on this side you know so i'm gonna get that right quick first this is zechariah 13 and 8 and it shall come to pass that in all the land, say of the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say Yahweh is my power. Um, so, yes, two thirds will die on this side, but. How will all Israel be saved? Well, you know, pretty much the scriptures talk about how all Israel will be saved. But, you know, the question there is how. And um, I'll, you know, go ahead and get a verse to back up what I'm about to say. The way that two thirds will be saved is ultimately they're going to come back through um, the seed of the elect, you know, because hey, basically in the kingdom, man, just keeping it plain and simple, we're going to be having, you know, the brothers, the, the you know, the elect, Lord willing, I'm of the elect, you know, it's going to be a lot of sex getting had in the kingdom, you know, and uh, the two thirds are going to come back through the elect and the one third, you know, that uh, escape on this side. So, you know, um, and, and, and the Lord is going to do this. He's going to do this. And it's going to be a marvelous work in our eyes, you know, but this is Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So a lot of sex is going to be had because it's going to be seven women and one man. All of those women can be impregnated by one man at one time. And seven just represents completion. A man could have a thousand wives. You know what I'm saying? Or, or 500 wives, whatever, you know, whatever the number may be. But that's how, that's basically how, um, you know, uh, that's how the, the two-thirds that die on this side are going to come back through the elect and the one-third in the kingdom. I want to get another scripture to back it up. Let's see. Uh... Okay, this is Isaiah 60 and 22. Okay, oops, Salakia. Let's start at verse 21. This is Isaiah 60 and 21. Thy people all also shall be all righteous. Well, you know, as we say, as we teach, the two-thirds are wicked on this side. You know what I'm saying? Um, but how are they going to be all righteous? They're going to be born through the elect. And the one third, and they're going to come back as babies having a law, statutes, and commandments implanted into them. And they, they're they going to never go off again. And they're going to get to enjoy the kingdom. This is Isaiah 60 and 21. Again, I'll start from the top. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. You know, so the Lord is going to do his, do this to glorify his name, you know, not to our glory, because what, what we have coming, man, we really don't even deserve it. You know, um, those of us who do obtain it, it's, it's going to be through the Lord's mercy that we do so, man. You know, the scriptures talk about how the righteous shall scarcely be saved. And also the scriptures also talk about how our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. You know, so. A uh, another scripture just come to mind. You know, the Lord have not rewarded us according to our iniquities, 
You know, the Lord's having mercy even with the, the judgment and the hell that we catch right now, man. And that hell, hey, sometimes it, it can be intense. And to think that the Lord could do worse to us, you know, <clears throat> hey, man, that just ought to put, put us, it puts us in a fear, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai ain't nothing to play with. He can either bring you very high or he can reduce you to the lowest hell, literally. And it's like that's what ought to drive uh, <clears throat> brothers in this troop, which it does. You know, the scriptures talk about how uh, through the fear, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. You know, that's how you reel some of Jake and just letting them know Getting and getting into the depths of how Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah really works, you know. But I'm a, I'm a um, stick to the point. This is Isaiah 60 and uh, 22. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in His time. You know, so a little one or a small one. That's that's referring to, you know, a an Israelite man on this side, you know? So, man, hey, Jake going to be out here with a thousand kids, man, from one from one man. So, you know, you can see how uh, the two-thirds are going to come back through us. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, I'm of the elect. And, you, and the other brothers who are, who are out here laboring in truth and sincerity are of the elect. You know, that's how the Lord's going to do it, man. And, um, you know, we we not going to glory in ourselves, man. Even when brothers get spiritual power, when anything happens to you, your first, you know, your, your first move ought to be to, hey, call her lawyer, my Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. You know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh, why Yahweh, Shah, they deserve all the credit, man. You know, um, here lately. You know, I'm walking, minding my own business, and I've been, like, finding $20, $20 bills on the ground. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it happened to me, like, twice. And, you know, just so happened, I really, you know, I actually needed it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, but when I found that $20, just as an example, I didn't say, man, I found $20. I was like, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai led me to find a $20 bill on the ground. You know, call a lawyer and lie Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, you know, the Lord does things for his glory, not for our glory, but he is going to glorify his people, you know, because like the scriptures say, um, but he even that is his, even that's going to bring just, it's going to bring more glory to the Lord, you know. Like the scriptures say, though, um, as thou hast been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency. You know, so the Lord, he's going to turn our reproach into uh, glory, man. You know, and we're going to glory in the Lord. Like the scriptures say, let him that glory, you know, glory in the Lord. <clears throat> you know, roughly paraphrasing, but man, that's pretty much the point. That's how, that's how it's going to happen. And, um, I'm gonna get some other scriptures to prove that hey, the Lord is gonna, He is gonna um save all of Israel ultimately, not on this side though. I'm get a couple of scriptures and I'm gonna try to close out, you know, try to, you know, keep it short and to the point. You know, because hey, the scriptures do say all Israel shall be saved, which I'm gonna get that scripture next, but you know, the spirit just got on me to explain exactly how, you know. Hey, because even us, man, we we go. That's why the scriptures say all our righteousness is as filthy rags. We go off over here every day in these bodies. We go off every day, man. You know, and, and you know, brothers, we got to repent every day. Literally, it's, it's just it is what it is. It's, but, um, you know, uh, that being said. We go off it because of these bodies, but when we get in, hey, when we make it into the kingdom, we're going to have new bodies, man. These old bodies ain't coming with us. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we get, you know, beamed up into them chariots. Hey, these bodies ain't coming with us, man. The Lord's going to give us a new body, and those new bodies, 
the glory about them is that we're never going to be able to go off again, man. You know, and, and that's that's the real glory about it. You know, all of us are going to be all righteous. There's not going to be a wicked Israelite in the kingdom of heaven, man. But this is Isaiah 45 and 7. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. A salvation that's never going to end. Never shall there be captivity for the nation of Israel again, man. After this time, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. And that word world, if brothers know, they know. You know, I, I've been watching... I repeatedly, I'd have been watching that Apostle Gabar's lesson on John 3.16, which that was your part of Apostle, you know, a hey, laid it down, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. But, um, yeah, so the Lord's going to save us with the everlasting salvation. All Israel shall be, all Israel's going to be saved. And uh, the precept here for Isaiah 45 and 17 is Romans 11 and 26, so we'll get that. And it just goes to show you that uh, the apostles and the disciples and the prophets, they're all the same people that just kept coming back. You know what I'm saying? Because they all spake the same things. And that also goes to show you that you people, man, you damn Christians out there, y'all don't know what y'all talking about, man. The Old Testament and the New Testament are in sync with each other. And the Apocrypha, you know. And that goes to show you that the Lord didn't change the things that he told the prophets to teach. And his men, his apostles, the, his, the Yahweh Shah's apostles, his disciples, which they are all men of the Lord. They are all men of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. They all spake the same things, even thousands of years later or hundreds of years later, because the same spirit was dealing with those men. They didn't teach any, they didn't teach different things. They all taught the same things because they were all getting dealt with by the Rakhak Wadash, the Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, so for you Old Testament only Israelite niggas, the Old Testament and the New Testament are clearly in sync if you have ears to uh, see, I mean, uh, Salaki, ears to hear, you know, and eyes to see that. But this is Romans, Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved as it, is, as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. You know? And that deliverer is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah means he saves. You know? Um, and just going, you know, getting a point. You know what I'm saying? All of Israel ain't going to get it on this side. So then... How all how is all Israel gonna be saved again? They gonna come back through the elect and the one third having a lot of sex in the kingdom of heaven. That's how they gonna come back. They gonna be regenerated, reborn, and they gonna be righteous. Polite gonna come back. He not gonna be talking to all that Egyptian nonsense. Sarnetta gonna come back. He not gonna be talking to all of that black consciousness bullshit. You know, hey, hey all all of you Jakes, man. Even the jakes that we don't know, ain't nobody gonna come in the kingdom talking about they a hotep or a moor or a Muslim. You gonna know you're Israelite. You gonna keep the law, statutes, and commandments by nature, with ease. You know, but this is Romans eleven and seven. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So that's the point. The elect have obtained. Hey, uh, 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 this wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The rest of two thirds are blinded and they're going to be killed and destroyed on this side. But again, the scriptures also say all Israel shall be saved. You know? And, 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 and like I said, I explained how they're going to come back through the elect, the elect who have obtained what they are, they were seeking for. You know? So I'm going to close out with that, man. And hopefully this lesson was edifying, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakha Kodash. 
you know, and until the next one, I say Shalom.